Namaste student. Today we are going to learn condition for terminating decimal. So what is terminating decimal? Let's recapitulate it. So here um, terminating decimal means if we will take any. So we we'll go from this side. Uh, if we are going to take 0 0.25. Look at here. After decimal if the digits are finite. Then that type of decimal expansion is called terminating decimal. If we take 3, 1, 5, point six. 2, 6, 6, 1, 3, 5 and look at here it is stopped here then this is your terminating decimal if I will take here 3.15555 and dot 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 or if I write this one as 3.15 bar then this is non terminating okay but we will not going to discuss about the non terminating decimal. Here we have the topic for terminating decimal. So here what they are asking here. So here they are asking about the condition. So let's see the condition. First you have to take P by Q. Okay. By looking the P by Q you cannot say that it is terminating or non terminating. So we have some condition. So for that type of p by q first you have to make it simplest from okay and then you look at the denominator q and the q should be in the form of 2 to the power m into 5 to the power m what about m or n m and n are non negative integer okay that means this m or n may be 0 1 2 3 so on okay so for example if we'll take here uh, 2 by 10 look at here the denominator can be written as 2 into 5 so here we have 1 and 1 that means it is terminating decimal so what will the value of this one 0 0.2 if we take 2 by 100 so here 100 can be written as what 2 by what so such so this is quite big number so how will you going to convert this one in this one I hope you remember how to convert into prime factorization from 2 and then again 2 and then 5 and 5 that means 100 can be represent as 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 2 and look at here this presentation is look like this one so we can say that 4 by 100 is terminating decimal and the decimal terminate in value is 0 0.04 now if we take this one 31 by 2 to the power 3 into 5 square so is it a terminating decimal sir yes it is a terminating decimal look at here 2 to the power 3 and 3 is a your what non-negative integer and 2 is also non-negative integer so we can say that it is terminating decimal okay so if it will be asked you that after how many decimal it will terminate so you can say by looking the power of the digit so look at the power so here we have 2 to the power 3 and 5 to the power 3 here m is 3 or n is 2 so whichever will be the bigger one here 3 is the bigger one so this number will terminate after 3 decimal place so what will be the value of this one so how are you going to solve it so how are you going to get the decimal expansion of this one so to solve this one look at here we have 31 by 2 to the power 3 into 5 square so here if we we'll multiply numerator and denominator by 5 what will get 5 15 and denominator look at here 2 to the power 3 and 5 to the power 3 so this can be written as 
2 into 5 to the power 3 that means it gives you what 10 to the power 3 that means 1000 and 1000 means if you convert into decimal form so look at here how many zero are there 1 2 3 so from here you start 1 2 3 that means 0 0.155 okay <clears throat> so take another problem we'll go with another problem if we'll go with another problem so if we'll take here so 16 by 1325 now if it will ask you that uh, write down the decimal expansion of 16 by 3125 without actual division okay then how are you going to convert actual division means if we'll go long division method this is your actual division so will not use this method without using this one we have to solve so how are you going to solve it our first target get the prime factorization form of this one and check that it is terminating or not if it is terminating then only you can get the decimal expansion of this one otherwise you have to go for long division method okay so here we have 5 so again if you go that will be your 1 2 5 5 and 5 yes therefore 16 by 1 3 2 5 can be written as 16 by 5 to the power 5 so what about the, there is no 2 yes there is a 2 look at here we can write 2 to the power 0 into 5 to the power 5 because 2 to the power 0 equals to 1 so here we have this one okay now uh, that means we can say that yes this one 3 1 2 5 can be represented as 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n where m is 0 and n is 5 that means we can terminate it so now you have to convert this one in a decimal expansion form so how are we going to do look at here we need 5 2 at the denominator 5 times 2 at the denominator so take it but see here you cannot take by your own so you have to balance to balance it you have to multiply 2 to the power 5 with 16 so now 16 into 32 down you will get 2 into 5 power 5 so 16 into 32 so what will you get here Five hundred twelve. Okay, so here five hundred twelve, and denominator ten to the power five. That means five zero. So start with this one, two, three, four, five. That means your answer is zero point zero zero five one two. I hope you have understood. Thank you.